Young Justice in the DCAU The Young Justice animated series returns by popular demand for Season 3 on the DC Universe streaming app. The Watchtower database couldn't be more excited to watch, but in the meantime, let's take a look at every member of the team also featured in the DCAU. Dick Grayson's career as Robin is well documented in both Batman the Animated Series and Young Justice, as is his graduation into Nightwing. Robert Gordon's Batgirl also appears in both series, proving herself a leader in Young Justice Season 2. Furthermore, Tim Drake joins as the third Robin in the second season of Young Justice, wearing a red and black costume like the character did during the new Batman Adventures. Jason Todd's Robin is referenced to have died during Young Justice's five-year gap, but never existed in the DCAU. Wally West is a major speed-powered superhero in both universes. He began as Kid Flash, psychic to Barry Allen's Flash in the Young Justice timeline, but since Barry never existed in the DCAU exactly, Wally West became that universe's primary Flash. He challenged Superman to a race around the world and became a founding member of the Justice League. Static will be a main character in Young Justice Season 3, but the hero first joined the DC Universe during his own Static Shock animated series, written and produced by the character's creator, Dwayne McDuffie. Crossover episodes saw Static collide with other primary DCAU characters like Superman and Green Lantern, and build a particular trust with Batman. Static would also join the Justice League Unlimited alongside Terry McGinnis' Batman Beyond. Static Shock also gave us a DCAU's only references to Beast Boy, a classic member of any iteration of the Teen Titans. In the episode Romeo in the Mix, Tal agent Bernie Rast asks about securing someone in the Titans and specifically requests the green one. Beast Boy joined the team in Young Justice Season 2 and will continue into Season 3. Roy Harper's Speedy was a featured founding member of the team but left on his own early on. He would later return and don various new identities over the years as Red Arrow and Arsenal. Speedy made a quick appearance in Justice League Unlimited episode Patriot Act, where he and ex-partner Green Arrow fight General Eiling. Speedy's costume in the cameo was modeled after his appearances throughout the Teen Titans animated series. The Magician Zatanna was featured in the self-titled episode of Batman the Animated Series, where it was revealed she had a romance with Bruce Wayne before she joined the Justice League, and once helped revert a cursed Wonder Woman from a pig back into a person in the Justice League Unlimited episode This Little Piggy. Zatanna was a generation younger in Young Justice, whereas she joined the team midway through Season 1. Her father, Giovanni Zatara, was an active member of that universe's Justice League as well. Aside from Tim Drake's Robin, the three heroes most associated with the Young Justice comic that inspired the series were Cassie Sandsmark's Wonder Girl, Bart Allen's Impulse, and Connor Kent's Superboy. Cassie is referenced in the Justice League episode Paradise Lost as a little girl rescued from a tree by Wonder Woman, called Cassie by her worried mother. Impulse appeared in the original animation test for Justice League with other young heroes, though the second season of Young Justice would be his first true animated debut. Impulse and Superboy were also both featured in issues of Adventures in the DC Universe spin-off comic, tangentially set in the DCAU at the time, but no longer canon. Superboy served as the inciting incident that led to the team's formation and the Young Justice premiere, resulting in his status as a founding member. Superboy remains on the team through Season 3. Since both animated series are based on characters from the DC Universe, there are many overlapping elements. Let us know your take on any glaring omissions or striking similarities between the worlds of the DCAU and Young Justice. Hi, I'm Ted Kendrick, and you're watching another Trivia Tuesday with Ted, where I bring facts about the DCAU directly to you.